Yeah, welcome back. We now have uh, Adiola Akadiri, an interior designs entrepreneur. Thanks again for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we're focusing this year on achieving a gender equal world, especially regarding you know women in leadership and you know focusing on recovery from the COVID nineteen pandemic. Women in leadership in Nigeria, what do you think the statistics are and what are some of the factors that have limited women from attaining certain leadership positions, especially in Nigeria? Um, first and foremost, I think in our culture, our culture in Africa and Nigeria relates to women. But with time, with women being educated, and aspiring, I think we are getting there. We are not there yet, but we are getting there. So apart from culture, what other bias do you think prevents women, you know, from, you know, entering into certain professions, even, you know, such like mathematics and science and engineering? Um, I think that women need to be more confident of ourselves. We should have the I can do attitude. If we have the I can do attitude, I believe that women can conveniently fit in into a man's world. Perfectly, I believe. Well, um, you know, a lot of people may not even argue, will not agree with you with the uh, a man's world narrative, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know that maybe that's that's maybe that's one of the problems that we are actually dealing with. Um, uh, how, how would you say that today needs to be celebrated here in Nigeria, International Women's Day? Uh, there's talks about how much inclusion needs to be given, you know, for women in politics um, and in the workspace and, and all of that. Um, it, it, from your opinion, where would you say needs immediate change for the Nigerian woman? Mm -hmm. I think women need to really, really be embraced, need to embrace politics. Because we need more women in politics. So that the country can move forward. But how how would how would that change? Yeah, how do you think that would change anything? If you have more women in, in political positions in Nigeria, in the National Assembly as governors and the likes, what change do you think that would bring? I believe that women, when we want to do something, we put our heart to it. That is the plus that we women have. So if women embrace politics, I believe that politics will change for the better. It is my own opinion that women are left for us. And I believe that when women come into politics, the game will change. That is my personal opinion. Well, still talking about women participation in politics, how can we really, you know, target that balance between when men and women in political participation? Yes, to target that balance, women need to be educated. They need to they need to have the interest to join politics. I think it's the interest as well, not being coerced into joining politics, but having genuine interest for change in our political space. I think that we go a long way. All right, 2021 has also seen, um, you know, some of the most memorable events with regards to Nigerian women, and I'm speaking um, in particular about Ngozi okonjo Wella, who is now, of course, uh, head of the uh, World Trade Organization. Um, would you agree that that is something that needs to be you know, celebrated continuously? And of course, uh, it, it, do you think it would also change in any way or affect the narrative of women with regard to education um, in Nigeria? Yes. Yes. I am so, so glad that one of us is holding the highest position in the world, that the World Trade Organization. I am so, so glad. And I believe that with education, with confidence, and with steadfastness, women can attain such positions going forward. But we choose 
to challenge the status quo. Just like our team for this year, I choose challenge. What then that status quo so that we, I as a woman, I want to get up there. I want to be recognized in the world. I want to be number one. I don't think there's anything that can stop. So it's only we that can stop ourselves. Hmm. So there's so many issues regarding, you know, the gender gap between men and women. Let's talk about the gender pay gap. You know, we're talking about choosing to challenge. How can women choose to challenge this issue, especially here in the country? The only way we can challenge the status quo is to get education. I will say it again and again. Women, girl child, need education. And we as women, we don't, we don't, we don't stay at the background, at the underground. We need to move ahead. We need to get educated. We need to get enlightened. And I believe with that, we will be able to solve that life. I believe. No, I'm, I'm talking about women who are equally as educated, women who are equally as intelligent, working in organizations with men doing the same jobs. You know, we're still having that gender gender gap. Would you say this is something that just starts from you know legislation? Because we know we've been trying to pass a, a a gender equality bill for many years now, and it's been it's been having lots of bottlenecks regarding you know passing passage of the bill. Would you say legislation is one of the ways that we can begin to challenge such gaps in the workplace and otherwise? Yes, if you remember from the beginning, I said that. Um, Gender inequality is an African thing. I said it in the beginning. And for us still not being recognized as we ought to be, it is still the mentality of Africans that women should be behind the men. And I believe we can because it is getting better by the day. The federal government and the general Mohammed Buhari, the, our president, said when he came in that he's going to give women a particular portfolio. He's going to give us a portion. And he did too. I think men at the Federal Electric Council, women are there representing. So I believe that with much with and then with steadfastness and confidence, women will with time as we advocate for recognition in all states. I believe that women will get this, will get our share with time. I said it last year as 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 we will get this. And you can see we are feeling it. Gender, I well, I, there are lots of people who would you know, disagree with you and say gender inequality is a global issue. It's not just here in Africa. It happens in the most developed of countries. Uh, I, I don't know if you know, you'd have a change of mind regarding that because the statistics that the United Nations has put out you know, shows just how much gender inequality exists in every society. You know, so much that it was made the fifth sustainable development goal for, you know, for the world to achieve gender you know, equality quality by the year 2030. Very congrats. All right. Um, I think we, we have a little bit more to go. Uh, still talking on International Women's Day. We're going to be sharing a top 10 uh, women um, in the world, or women, successful women currently, um, on top of their careers, to be precise. But I would like to say a huge thank you to uh, Adeola Kadiri. Thank you so much for taking our time to thank speak you. with us this morning. And we are celebrating you and of course other women uh, on the top of their careers all around nigeria and across the world thank you very much for your time thank you for having me appreciate it. absolutely all right uh once again it's international women's day march 8th and uh, of course our next you know few minutes we're going to be looking at uh, top 10 women at the top of their careers here on plus tv africa's the breakfast stay with us <laughs>